Hello, and thank you for joining me for another uh, edition of our daily devotional. Today, I thought we could look at a scripture passage in the book of James. As I was kind of reading through that this week, I saw this reoccurring theme of the concept of wisdom and thought we can kind of maybe look at that a little bit. If you're anything like me, at some point in your life or when you've been around friends or family members, coworkers, you or somebody has said, you know what, I wish that I was just a little bit smarter. I wish I had a little bit more intellect. Uh, I wish I could remember things better. And so today, let's take uh, just a brief look at what James says about wisdom and what that really means in our life. It's from the book of James, chapter 1, uh, beginning at verse 5 and going through verse 8. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who generously gives all things without finding fault, and it will be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all he does. So I saw an article this week that was about the society Mensa, uh, people who have super high IQs. And the article is actually about their newest member in which they have just inducted into this hall. And it was so monumental because it's actually the youngest member of their society who has ever been accepted. A little girl who has an IQ of 146 and she's only two years old. Uh, it's funny within the article it talks about all the amazing things she can recall that she can do but her parents say just like any normal two-year-old she still has tantrums. You know that, that would be amazing to be a part of that society. I'm sure that two-year-old without any problem has an IQ that's much higher uh, than mine but there's people that have even higher IQs than that. Uh, there's a society called the Mega Society that has individuals who have an IQ that is higher than 99.9999% of all people within the world. It's a very small group of people. Uh, at the top of that rating right now is a woman who has the highest IQ in the entire world of 228. Uh, imagine that, that intellect, that wisdom that's there. But you know, the wisdom that's talked about within the pages of our scripture today is different than just this practical acquired knowledge, being able to, to rattle something off or being able to even just problem solve. It's a, a knowledge that has insight with spiritual implications. Because after all, if somebody asked you, what is the most important thing that you know? If you could share any piece of wisdom with anyone around you, even with a complete stranger, what would you share? Now, would you write some type of special equation down for them? Would you uh, rattle off different facts that you know about a subject that you're interested in? Or would you share with them maybe a piece of the wisdom that God has given to you, a piece of faith that you have? Maybe the most important acquired knowledge that any of us have, sharing about our Savior and what he came to do and did on our behalf giving of his own life and rising again so that we may have complete forgiveness of sins. And even in this gift of faith, you and I can still grow. And James encourages that today. He says, if any of you lacks insight, go to God and, and just ask for more wisdom. He is ready to be able to provide it, and he will. But he says, don't be double-minded. Don't doubt that this can be a possibility. Don't be tossed back and forth by the sea, but know that when you ask, God is there willing to be able to provide. What great advice and piece of wisdom we receive from James of who our Savior truly is and, again, what he has done for us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, uh, as we come to you today in this time of devotion, we ask uh, boldly for you that we will believe more, that we will be strengthened in our faith, uh, that you will use us to show this great piece of wisdom, uh, your great plan of salvation unto the world. Uh, do that through us as your disciples today and throughout the weeks ahead as we continue to recognize, Lord, through your spirit, what you have given to your church, both in the past, uh, in the present, and continue to do in our future. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. All right, blessings upon your week.